eight thirty in the morning. About forty three degrees, but it's supposed to get warm today. There's a little frost on. I'm back down here in the graveyard. But uh I ain't fished up here in a minute. And I know there's some good fish in here. And uh I'm hunting I'm hunting big fish. Now y'all know me, I will catch any of them and I enjoy thoroughly catching any of them. But I am really trying to catch a good one, so uh we're gonna have bluebird skies, zero wind, the water's slick as glass. So I'm gonna start out with a uh, Z-Man TRD, hogs. And just kind of sneak around, pitch that little, that little TRD around, just to try to be sneaky first. See what happens. Yeah, I figured I'd uh, just start out with this right here. Last time I fished, it, fished with this up here, I done real good on it. So, uh, like I said, I'm just gonna sneak around you know the grass is looks like it's pretty much gone i know it ain't all the way gone or anything but i shouldn't have to fight the grass in here too awful bad right there's a fish right there was a fish right on the bank like i knew they would be there he is there he is guys there he is. He's not big, but it's a good way to start the day. I believe that's that one I just run off the bank. Yeah. Damn, fat, boys. All these fish are so fat right now. Look at that. Oh, bug-eyed thing. Look at that. That's crazy. Look how fat that little bass is. Look how little his mouth is. Little old tiny mouth on him. It's crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. I mean super fat. All the bass everywhere just putting on weight. I fished that TRD hogs all the way around the pond. And I went down to the bottom middle pond and throwed it around a little bit. Nothing. So I'm going to pick that chatterbait up and throw it around. I usually catch some with it to see what we can do here right quick. Okay, guys. This lower pond is a little milky. Which that's okay, I don't care. Guys, my daggone battery's running down. I've got about 10%, so I'm going to see if I can't get a couple caught right here for you. i got to go charge my... Go get my battery charger. There's one. There we go. Super dank. Super dank. Super danker. Super danker. <laughs> I'm just letting him play. If thing probably pop off. Look, there's another one with him trying to get that out of his mouth. Oh! Oh, watch here. Watch here. There was another one with him. I think he snatched that hook out of his mouth. I swear he did. Man, that was crazy. As soon as he swam up to it, I felt that thump, that fish come off. So, I think that's what happened there. About eight inches long. Back in here in the top pond, guys. I didn't get a bite down in the uh, middle pond. And uh, I hooked one and had an, it come off, but I believe another one knocked it off down in the lower pond. Other than that, I ain't got nothing. That 
sun's coming out and the wind's trying to blow a little bit, I'll throw that spinner bait before I leave. There's one. There we go. That's a decent one too. Fat as mud, man. Down his face. He's a danker, but he ain't a super danker. Fat, man, look at that. Super fat little bass. He's a tiny one. Golly, out of here. Yeah, he, he wasn't a super danker, but he's a danker. Right here in this transition, guys. See if I can't show y'all how this hog looks. See how it's standing up? See there? Stands up on its own. A lot of times. You just gotta kill it. See there? And you just kinda dead stick it. Up over the rock. Stands right back up. Good little lure, guys. I honestly think so. All these little appendages right here, they just vibrate. I've caught some fish with it. I ain't really used it for smallies. That's really where I think it'd do the best at is fishing for smallmouth. Because I think it looks like a Helgemite more than anything. As they say around my parts, Helgemite. They look like a Helgemite. Yeah, they got me a trailer hook on there. I do it like this sometimes. Sometimes I slide the hook on and slide that on and let it just hang. But I like that pretty stiff because I got that trailer. You know what I mean? Right there and it ain't going to mess that up. Plus, the uh, blades are up here out of the way of that hook. It shouldn't be no problem. That little tail just a, just a flapping for them to grab it. I got about 35, 45 minutes to catch a couple more fish. We're not only going to try, but we're going to do it. We're going to get it done. There went a fish. See a muddy spot. There he is. Oh, he dropped it. Dad gone it. I should have broke his neck right there. Buddy. Well, I'll be damned. I got it out without putting a knot in it. There's one. There we go. That's going to be a good fish there, guys. Them fish is up there around them pine trees. I ain't seen him yet. Yeah, that's a decent one. That's a decent fish right there, guys, especially for this little pond. Oh, yeah. Decent fish for this little pond. That's what we want to see right there. That's what we want to see right there. That's a good fish. Two pounds easy. Easy two pounds. God almighty, boys, look how fat that fish is. That hog's gone. I know my camera's in a messed up angle, but look here. Look how fat these fish are. It's crazy. 
I mean, absolutely crazy, guys. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. You know what I say? I catch them all day. Don't care one bit to. Yeah, I don't care one bit to catch them like that, guys. It's amazing how fat them fish are. I mean, gone. It's a little Z-Man hogs right here. I've caught fish with it everywhere I've took it. Okay. That's oh, nice, man. man. It's a good little lid. Back over here where our stuff is. Yeah. Well, he caught us one. Walked over here and caught us one. That's all that matters, guys. Thank you. Okay guys, that's a wrap. I figured I'd uh, show you guys what I was catching these on. This is really for the local boys, all you local fellas that come up here at this graveyard and try to fish, you know. And uh, this ain't the easiest place in the world to catch a fish. I mean, it's like a mile and a half from my apartment and it's a tough place to get bit really, you know. But guys, right here, Z-Man, PRD hogs right there. I think it's a tenth ounce jig head. It's the new one from Z-Man. Just threads up there and locks on that piece of uh, lead. They're a little aggravating to uh, to get on sometimes, but uh, you just thread them up there, guys, and there you go. I'm using a uh, seven foot medium heavy action spinning rod six pound test go check them out fellas get you some of this stuff the ned rig the hogs the, the z-man trd crawls all that stuff the ticklers any of that stuff is is you can take it to these places around here and you're going to catch you some fish off of it because ain't a whole lot of people uses them around here everybody around here uses senkos and stuff and that'll work don't get me wrong i'm working on another trip up in the mountains i'm gonna try to go ginseng in a cup you know two or three more days so I'll be watching for those videos if I can make it happen. Fellas, I hope y'all have a blessed day. Till the next one, we'll holler at you.